maybe let's see if it's just steering off onto the right hand side here maybe our giraffe will find our lion for us they often do do this they do stare in a direction if they've seen something so it's just off on my left hand side and staring straight down the road I can't see anything I don't see any tracks or anything like that around here there it goes it's obviously whatever it was wasn't too concerned it was looking southwards but it's not too concerned and this is that female we saw yesterday afternoon so it's the same female by herself what are you doing by yourself female she doesn't look like she's pregnant so it doesn't look like she's off to go and have her young one which they sometimes do just seems to be quite shy as well not behind the thicket hopefully she will come out there you go she's starting to come out now as you can see she's still looking in our general direction i wonder if maybe she spotted something and she was looking in this direction before i parked her so it's not even just me that is in this area that's causing her to get a disturbance i wonder if she hasn't smelt something or heard something maybe she heard that lion as well and she's a bit nervous of this section this big wind that is blowing and might be pushing a scent of that lion somewhere in this area but we still haven't found a track for him so if he is here he flew here with his wings as we know lions can do they sometimes grow wings and are able to fly around so maybe that's why but like i say she's not pregnant she doesn't have a young one with her so i'm not sure why she's on her own it's very seldom you'll see female giraffe by themselves males yes but the females tend to congregate in small groups so i don't know what she's doing you can see she's also got missing the tip of her tail so when she was younger or more likelihood i think she's missing the tip is she maybe i'm wrong difficult to see on this little screen it looks like the tip is not there there's no big black fluffy end to it as far as i can see maybe there is maybe it's just behind the bush there but it's not uncommon to see giraffe with stumpy tails they often hyenas go after them when they're babies and how they get after them is to grab them by the tails and when they grab them by the tails obviously it then leads to a bit of an injury developing and the tail sometimes the tip of it falls off and you get these little stumpy tails on giraffe it's like i say very common but look at the beautiful big eyelashes that she's got and this kind of gentle look that giraffe often have when they stare at you and a beautiful pattern as well Rick, you're wondering how tall this giraffe is. Oh, no, the tip of the tail is on there. It just wasn't wagging it. Um, Rick, the, in terms of its its height, a fully grown female like this is at about four and a half meters, whereas a fully grown male is at five and a half. So it's I think about 25, 26 feet, somewhere around there. I might be wrong. I think it's somewhere in that general vicinity. But at four and a half meters and five and a half meters is the length or well, the tallness of a giraffe, ma female and male. But she's going to disappear behind thickets that we're not going to really be able to follow her much longer so i don't think we're going to get too much of a view you can see she's still looking down in this general area i wonder if maybe something's not just lying in the thickets here somewhere i'll have to just have a better look and check very very nicely as we go you can see she's kind of just behind some of the bush and once she goes deeper in there we're not going to be able to find her but while she's staring in this direction i just want to check and make sure that there isn't something because i did drive here and if there's tracks over my vehicle tracks then we know that there is something lurking close by but that line definitely called from here with this wind that's raging for us to have heard it so clearly had to have been quite close Esther, the giraffe eyelashes are that length because they're there to protect the eyes. So the the length of the eyelashes will help keep dust and dirt as well as these thorns that they like to feed off. The trees that they feed off often have very long thorns and so those eyes just help to be protected and to make sure that they uh, are looked after and that the eyelashes keep them from being damaged or hurt in any way. But there's no tracks that I can see of this lion. I have no idea where he walked. He must have walked here somewhere, but I just can't find any single footprint of him. And there must be in this general area, because like I say, with all the wind, we wouldn't have been able to hear it that clearly um, if it wasn't quite close by. So 
if I can find the tracks it will help a lot to be able to find this line because just going by sound is going to be really really quite tough hmm let's check Nyala Road south just in case there isn't any tracks here 